today's challenge is one of the most sophisticated challenges we've ever had in the history of Hell's Kitchen. Each of you will design and create a stunning dish using the combination of two cuisines, better known as fusion. Sweet. I've never cooked fusion in my life. I don't even cook anything but, like, American food. Each of you will be working with different ingredients from around the world. They include India, uh... Greece, Spain, Thailand, China, Italy, France. I normally eat hot dogs, hamburgers, biscuits and gravy. Finally, Mexico. <sighs> this is going to be hard. So there you see, different ingredients from around the world. Each table representing a distinct cuisine. Excited? Yes, yes chef. chef. This sounds going to work. Under this dome, there are eight flags. I'm going to call you one at a time. You're going to pull two flags. Nona? Yes. Off you go. In Chef Ramsay's Fusion Challenge, he will be testing the chef's creativity as they have to create a spectacular dish from the two countries they select. You have... Yay! Oh, wow, Greece! wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Greece. Sweet! And he's fusing it with... Come on. Wow. Greece and Italy. <laughs> Okay, how easy is that? Those two mirror each other in cuisine. Sweet. Jillian, let's go. Thailand. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thailand, and you're going to pair it with... Wow, Spain. Spain and Thailand together. Fusion. Should be French. interesting, huh? Russell. Please just let me get France. I can make something happen if I get France. Vive France. France. Russell, you've got French, and you're going to fuse it with uh, India. France and India. <laughs> nice. That's not a bad base to begin with, France. Love it. I'm going to go right up to the French table and pitch shit that I'm familiar with. Everything else will take care of itself. Treff. Let's see. Oh, China. Lovely. And you're going to fuse it with? Viva la Mexico. <laughs> Mexico and China, two distinct cuisines. I'm thinking maybe. Burrito pot stickers. 45 minutes, one dish, starting from now. What do you got going on? Duck foie gras, a la orange. I'm going to use duck because it's so clearly French. I'm going to use foie gras because it's so clearly French. Any um, Indian bread? Oh, fuck. Marmalade. This marmalade's Indian. 15 minutes to go, yes? I don't think those beans are going to be done in time, man. Your beans? Yeah. OK, backup plan. No beans. What else can I use? This is not good. And try to get some kind of starch cooking. Nine minutes to go, guys, yes? Yes, chef. Hi, my name is Trevor, and today we're going to take a little bit of China, take a little bit of Mexico, and see what we can come up with. Woo! Like some pepper, some habanero, some hot sauce, some chili sauce. Ooh, we got a lot of spice going on today. Let the fun begin. Something burning. Spicy, spicy. Definitely going to have some heartburn after you get done eating, that's for sure. Watch your hair. Ha-ha, <laughs> <laughs> real funny. Five minutes to go, yes? Shit, beans aren't going to be done in time. Everyone else's dishes looked immaculate. Last 30. Nice. My dish sucks. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Let's start with Trev, who fused China and Mexico together. If Trev got Mexico and Texas, Trev couldn't make a flavor combination to save his life. Morning, chefs. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good to be here. I went with carne asada, sweetened it up a little bit, gave it that spice with a little bit of habanero. Thought it brought it both together pretty well. So you like Chinese, so you like Mexican. Why not let the two have a little wedding and flavor explosion? How was that for you? A little blend. A little blend. OK. <laughs> I would say that it is a little bland. Wow. It is very bland, the meat. There was no marination on the meat at all. It was way off balance. OK, for sure. No, no. I feel good about my dish. It's really a big it's plate of food. The flavors have really meshed well together. Um, I had Greece and Italy. Ah. Went with a rustic seafood ragu with mussels and shrimp. I used a Greek pasta with roasted tomatoes and balsamic and some maraschino cherries. <laughs> and a splash of limoncello. Wow, you did definitely combine it. Yes. Lee, how does that taste? The mussels are cooked good, and the pasta still has a little bite to it. But sometimes we have a problem with incorporating too many things right. at the same time in one dish. Almost like two separate dishes, perhaps. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, no, thank you. 
If they're saying this is about Jonah's dish, I don't even want to know what they're going to say about mine. Russell, he combined France and India. India. Mm. Russell gets the benefit of being trained in French cuisine, so this should be pretty easy for Mr. Fancy Pants. I did a, a take on duck a la orange. I paired it with foie gras. On the duck, I marinated it with uh, curry powder, and then I finished it with a tamarind syrup. How's that, my darling? For me, Indian spice in here mm. is not enough for me. Okay. Lee, please. The duck is overcooked. <laughs> but I think that missing that, that complete fusion of the Indian in it. Is the duck overcooked? The duck is definitely overcooked, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it is cut too thick. I know my dish was the best dish served today. So you can kiss my ass. I don't give a shit about him. OK, uh, thank you, Russell. So far, Nona, Russell, and Trev have all had their share of criticism. Ah, oh dear. Uh, disappointing. OK, uh, Jillian, you are next. Now, all eyes are on a less than confident Jillian, who's about to face the judges. Oh, shit, here we go. They all had some kind of criticism. Thailand and Spain. That's an interesting combination. Having a nervous fucking breakdown. I'm screwed. Thailand and Spain, please. And Jillian has little hope she will do much better. The judges were harsh, and that kind of freaked me out a little bit. This is the most important challenge of my life. I chose white rice, a little bit of marinated shrimp. I threw some chorizo in there, and then marinated my shrimp in a little bit of spicy mayonnaise and some soybean curd. How was that for you? Very interesting dish. I like it. Thank you. I think it's a, it's a nice tasting dish. It's seasoned well. Thank you very much. It looks like a Thai paella. Perfect. That's exactly what I was going for. That yeah, is very good. Thank you. Would you be happy to see something like that on your menu? Yes. Let me get a job, man, for real. <laughs> that went down well. Thank you. Thank Jillian. you very much, chefs. I appreciate it. Remarkably, Jillian is the only chef to receive praise from all the judges. Which dish did you like best? And so picking the winner, Jillian. I would have to go with Jillian as well. Is an easy decision. Is it unanimous? Unanimously, I would go for it. Thank you, chef. A round of applause for our judges, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah! Across the board, I won it. Ha ha, Russell. This just proves why I'm still here, and I do have creativity. We're in an Asian market. It was very exciting. I shop in Asian markets all the time. I've got a good idea of, of all the different ingredients. I mean, not all of them, of course. I can't, I can't read it. Good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. So today's challenge is Asian fusion. Yes, yes chef. chef. And when I say fusion, I mean combining cuisines to make exciting, vibrant dishes. Yes, yes, chef. yes, Chef. Personally, I love fusion. That's how I get down. I'll make a gourmet meal out of Captain Crunch and frickin' filet mignon. I don't give a shit. Each team will select one poultry, one seafood, and one meat dish with a strong Asian influence. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. You'll have 25 minutes to run around this phenomenal Asian market and purchase all the ingredients you'll need for your three dishes. Each team has only $100 to spend, so use your time and money wisely. Are you ready? Yes, yes Chef. On your mark, get set, go. Grab that car, go this way. This way. This, way. Car. this Asian fusion challenge will test the chef's creativity and their ability to innovate. Ladies, we need a plan menu. Ten feet, ten feet. The teams have just 25 minutes and $100 to find the ingredients they need to create three Asian fusion dishes. Listen, I have my menu. entree ready to go. We need to get some rice, crushed red pepper, soy sauce. I'm a force to be reckoned with. I have a loud voice and I have loud thoughts. We need mirin. We need What's your dish? Listen, I'm saying mirin. Andrea likes to think that she's the leader because she talks the most, but loud and vocal doesn't always make a good leader. Let's go, guys. While the red team has stopped to organize, Organize, the blue team takes a slightly different approach. I'm just grabbing shit, man. We'll put stuff back. That's fine. Let's grab it. Let's Come use it. Come on. Let's get the show on the road. We just like ran around like crazy people, piecing our dish together as we ran through the store. Some Produce, rice, dairy, something, ginger, noodles. Move along, guys. Let's get fish some fish plate. roll. On the lay, on the lay. Armed with what they hope will be the key ingredients, both teams make it to the checkout in time. 95, 97. And on budget. Yay! Now, each team will have one hour to complete three dishes. 
Chef Ramsay has instructed the teams to work in pairs. All right, uh, I don't do Asian a lot, so just... That's all right. I took Lacey under my wing. I personally will kick her in the ass if I think she needs it. Lacey, this is how I set up my station. Fold my towel in half. If you're gonna work next to me, try and do the same. I think Ben just likes to talk to hear the sound of his own voice. Just it's more when I see. Aye, aye, Captain. Meanwhile, the red team duos... I don't understand what we're doing, but I'll just listen to you. ...are still finding their way. Andrea, what other dishes quickly run through? Uh, right now, we're working on tuna wrapped in, in seaweed. Asian fusion. I don't want it boring. Yes? Yes, yes sir. OK, that's going to be a problem with this tuna dish. I had to rethink my dish a little bit because I was kind of going all Asian, you know, with no no fusion in there. So we're going Japanese French. Yeah, aioli's French, but it's it's Asian flavors. Just make it a lemon aioli. While the entire red team pitches in on Paula's tuna dish, over in the blue kitchen, Lacey is just trying to make a contribution. Jay, do you need help? I'm good right now. I'm good right now. Anybody need anything? I'm not needed at all. I was basically doing bullshit jobs. Like, oh, slice this, dice that, you know. Anyone can cut an onion. Come on, guys, what can I do? Nothing. Last minute, let's go. That means plated, clean, ready to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Now, the winning team today, all of those dishes, is going to be heavily featured on the Epicurus.com website. Okay, now, first dish, poultry. Let's go. First up, it's Carol and Coy versus Robert and Danny. This is a pomegranate cinnamon glazed chicken breast. Now, why'd you choose pomegranate? I, I love pomegranate. It's, uh, it's a nice fruity fruit. Presentation looks slightly boring. And it's a little bit dry. <laughs> but I like the flavors. Yes. Okay, Robert, describe your dish, please. It's a, a traditional pad thai, but the chicken is prepared like barbecue chicken on a Sunday afternoon. Chef Ramsay tasted my dish, one of the greatest culinary minds of the 21st century, and you're sitting there like, uh, here's my dish. I hope you like it. This is kind of a confluence of southern and Asian yes, for you, exactly. essentially. Seasoning. Nice. Which one would you go for? I would definitely go for this one. I totally agree. Well Thank done. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Back in line. Men, one nil. Nice job, Robert. Nice job, brother. Robert and I definitely rocked the house today. We fucking nailed it. Next up, it's Paula and L.A. against Ben and Lacey. OK, Paula. OK, chef, we did a tuna tempura, very mm -hmm. simple. We did uh, the vegetables, all confit styles, and we made an aioli. Paula's dish simply didn't see the fusion in it. It really looked like a pile of steamed mushroom. Wow. Temperature in the tuna is extraordinary. Mm. And this is just perfectly cooked. It really is perfectly cooked. Thank you, chef. This is? We have pan-seared scallop. Mm -hmm. um, the sauce is, uh, it's actually a sea urchin uh, and caviar beurre blanc. Very dangerous to combine caviar and sea urchin together. Yes. If people were to ask me, what's your specialty, Ben, I would probably say it's French-Asian fusion. Slightly salty for me. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit mushy. If I had to choose, I would go with that one. I'm going to choose. The tuna also. Thank you. OK. Good. I'm so glad we all got together on that tuna dish. With the score tied, Jay and Giovanni will now face off against Colleen and Andrea. Being the tiebreaker uh, of all things is just, oh, I can't even tell you. OK, Andrea, you go first. Uh, today we have a Kobe beef sashimi brushed with a Korean-style sauce. When you say Korean sauce, what's in there? We have soy sauce, some sugar, and a lot of red pepper flakes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> My yeah. mouth is really Ouch. Yeah. So That's clumsy seasoning. Um, it's a shame because the beef's delicious. Mm -hmm. I think the beef really saves this dish. Jay. Yes, yes chef. Uh, we have a uh, we have a beef. Uh, you don't know what it is. Uh, uh oh. Uh, dear oh dear. What is it? It's a beef pizzaiola style. Pizzaiola style. I forgot what the hell uh, Giovanni mm. wanted to call it. Beef uh, pistachio. Crunchy bits of mm -hmm. rice um, mm -hmm. granules um, in my teeth. I undercooked. Love the idea. However, there's no excuse for undercooked rice. OK, which one? This is one we're going to have to debate. Yeah. Back in line? OK, um, Tanya, I'm going to leave this one to you. 
because it's going on your website. Mm. Which one would you go for? I'm going to have to go with my ladies. The ladies stick together, man. No matter who the lady is, y'all are brotherhood, a sisterhood, some shit. Thank you, thank you. Right. Let's go. Rise and shine. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Hey girls, I like coconuts. It's kind of nice to bring Hawaii to Hell's Kitchen because I don't know when I'm ever getting to Hawaii, but I hope that's today's reward. Wow. How good was that? Oh, that was amazing. amazing. I wish I could shake my buns like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love Hawaii. Hula dancing, fire dancing, and of course, fusion cuisine. And that is what today's challenge is all about. Andy, Aaron. Oh, oh man. Thank you. As you can see, there are two identical wheels in the dining room, one for the blue team and one for the red team. A chef from the red team will face off against a chef from the blue team when I call your name. Both chefs will stand next to the wheel, spin it, and then determine which two countries you will fuse together. Let's start off with Heather and Ryan. Both of you, step forward. Let's go. Heather. Nice. The Wheel of Fusion. <laughs> Love it. This is so cool. Yeah. I'm hoping for not French, not Japanese. Japanese. Oh, there you go. Wow. OK. Please not French. Please not French. Please not French. Oh, oh. French. French. Oh, French. Oh, that's good. Wow. Japanese and that's French. Good. Please not French. Right up my alley, that's yep. what I do. Brilliant. Well, yep. Great spin. Now, Devon and Kimberly, step up to the wheels. Let's go. I'm thinking, great, I'm a fusion chef. That's pretty much what got me here. Uh, Devon, what are you hoping for? I'm actually hoping for Indian. Indian. Off we go. Please land on Indian. I did well in culinary school on the Indian cuisine classes. You got Indian. Indian. Yes, yes, yes. Boom, son. Oh. Damn it. Wow. Chinese and French. Oh, Chinese and French. That's a great one. I like the combination also. Paulie versus Andrew. Yep. Let's go. Spin away. You're going down, Chunks. Just because you're big doesn't mean you can't get knocked over. Mexican for Paulie. Yes. 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 Chef's choice, you've got it. Um, what do you want with Mexican? Mexican and Indian. Indian and Mexican? What the fuck, Drew? Do you have an idea of what you're going to be doing? No, I'm not really familiar with Japanese cooking at all. I don't ever cook Japanese food. I don't ever cook classic French food. These are the two I didn't want the most, and now I need to make a fusion of these two cuisines. What protein should I use? I really need some direction. Ryan has no idea what the hell she's doing. I just don't have no respect for her in any way, shape, or form. I'd love to see her just tank. Hi, what can I put with the French lentils? I have Japanese and French. Huh? I have Japanese and French. Polly. This sucks. One third of the way gone. Just under 30 minutes to go, guys. Yes. yes. Chef. Chef. All right, here's the thing that I want to do. I want to do like a nice and I radicchio salad. Right. But I want to do a orange blossom Dijon mustard uh, vinaigrette. I've used orange blossom before. It's awesome. When Chef tastes this orange blossom vinaigrette, I'm going to win this challenge for the red team. I just want sweet and spicy. How you guys feeling? Good. Good. Confidence is high. 60 seconds to go. Yes, Chef. All right, guys, I got hands. Anybody need help? All right. Call my lamb, please. It's in the left. All right. Brian, this is raw. 45 seconds to go. Put it back. Put it under. I always run out of time in these challenges. Time just zooms by. I don't want to serve raw lamb. 30 seconds to go. Slap it, slap it down on the hot pan. Here's a hot pan. OK. Now, Ryan, let's go. Move, move. I know that I'm running out of time. Like, stop yelling at me. 
Five, four, three, two, one, and serve, Brian. Now. I'm a little bit worried about the temperature of the lamb, but this is what it is. We're going to begin with the strangest combination, the Indian and Mexican. Andrew and Paulie, please. Let's go. Good luck, guys. Yeah, Drew. Mexican Indian. Good luck to us, Chef. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Paulie, please, describe your dish to Chef. I did a uh, Mexican-inspired roti, like the Indian roti sandwich. The chicken is pulled, and then pico de gallo with a little bit of roasted corn and avocado. Chef, what do you think? I mean, visually, I think it's kind of messy, off balance. Yeah, let's see how it tastes. Paulie, Chef Roy's all the way out here from Hawaii, and you're going to serve him a sandwich? A shitty sandwich? Not smart, bro. To me, it's not really fusion. It's more Indian than anything else, one-dimensional. Nobody's ever done Mexican and Indian before. I look like an idiot in a challenge. This is ridiculous. Uh, Andrew, describe a dish to Chef, please. I did a spice grilled lamb chop, seasoned with hot curry to give it a little bit more heat, okay. and then grilled corn and coriander sauce. I have to say that it looks better than the, uh, yes. the, the sandwich there. Yeah, dude, I'm definitely getting the point. I'm not getting a lot of spice. The outside is brown, but there's rawness in the middle, so. Yes, don't like to see that at all at this stage. Um, Chef, in your mind, I mean, is there one dish that stands out? Uh, to be honest with you, I would, I would probably stay away from giving anybody a point on this one. Um, I was kind of disappointed. I agree. Both dishes missed the mark. Take the dishes back, please. No points. My apologies. Uh, next up, French, Japanese. Let's go. We have three dishes. I'm a little bit nervous. I mean, Polly and Andrew both don't get a point in the very first round. This could get really ugly. Let's start off with Heidi. In this round, the red team will have two dishes. And first up is Heidi's French halibut with poached egg over stir-fried vegetables. As you continue to eat, the dish becomes, you know, one pile of mess, so. Yeah, it's a mess. I'm sorry, chef. Up now for the blue team is Ryan with a Japanese rack of lamb over French lentils with herbs de Provence. Visually, it looks nice. Man, Ryan, you got to pull this one out. I hope your lamb has rested enough and is not raw. That lamb's cooked perfectly, seasoned beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Nice flavors, actually. Um, very yeah. nice. You got a lot going on. You've got that excitement between those two cuisines. Thank you, Chef. It's now up to Heather and her French and Japanese New York strip with orange blossom vinaigrette to try and outshine Ryan. There's something perfumey in there. What is it? It's that? an orange blossom vinaigrette. Oh, OK, OK. Very, very strong. It actually takes the flavor away from everything else. It's just so strong. It's like a mouthful of perfume. Tough challenge. I know. I had to drink some water from it. It's... Wow. OK. Uh, Dan, what a shame. Uh, that perfume. Oh, dear. So, um, chef. I would have to, uh, because the lamb was cooked perfectly, I would, have, I would give it to Ryan. Ryan, congratulations. Thank Good you, job. Chef. Well done. One point to the blue. To beat them two against one, it feels great. I am really, really proud of myself. OK, next, French and Chinese, a fusion I've been looking forward to. Let's go. You got this, Kim. The things Chef Yamaguchi is saying, I'm like, holy shit, this guy's really tough. Good. Kimberly, don't look so worried. <laughs> tough round tonight, Chef. Very high standards. Kimberly has prepared a classic steak au poivre over Chinese styled rice. Visually, it looks Visually, great. Visually, yeah, yeah, very nice. It's more Chinese than anything else. Mm. Um, it's nice. Thank you, chef. A little bit overcooked. I'm getting some flavors in there that that it doesn't really match. Mm. Yeah, you've got some great flavors there, but they need to be separated. Yes, chef. Uh, and not just clumped on the plate. Heard. Thank you, chef. The final dish is Devin's pan-seared halibut over Chinese fried rice with a French-inspired oyster sauce. I like the way it looks. The rice flavor's there, but it, to me, it's, it's a little crunchy. I added some cashews in there also. Oh, oh, is, is that what it is? Yes, chef. Way overcooked. You want that fish to flake when it's as stringy as that. It's very dry. Yes, chef. What a shame. Uh, chef, I mean, is there one dish you think deserves a point? Um. Kimberly, please, please. I don't want to lose. They're, they're both overcooked. And um, I like the flavor of the sauce of Kimberly's. So I would have to go with Kimberly. Yeah, I would agree. Red team. Thank you, well chef. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Good job. She did it for the red team. We're still in it. It's great. She got us a point. Um, so we have a tie. And it comes down to the best dish. Chef, if you were to award 
a victory. Um, would it be Ryan's or Kimberly's? I would actually go with uh, Ryan. Thank you, Chef. Routine wins. Thank you. Uh, well done. Good work. I ran the challenge, and Paulie's giving me a hug after we want to kill each other last night. Now, you know, he thinks we're best buddies.